South Africa is so beautiful, guys. Like, South Africa is beautiful. <laughs> A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. I'm joking guys, it's not that serious. We are just going on vacation. So yes guys, welcome to the series. I'm just sitting at the bus station waiting to take my bus to Cape Town. Oh my goodness, it was an extremely long trip, but hang in with me and I'm gonna show you guys what I saw on my way to Cape Town. So this particular morning, I woke up so tired, like honestly, I didn't even have time to get ready, but I just tried to look somehow presentable and made my way to the station. So when I was there, they had to wait our boxes and sanitize our hands before we got on the bus so after weighing our boxes they attach a barcode to our box and give you the code as well so that you know you make sure you receive the right box when you arrive and if you've watched my channel before you know that i like using intercape because it is a christian bus agency and they also have really good service so i used intercape to travel and my ticket cost 550 rands which i thought was honestly not bad just a quick view of the inside of the bus i was relieved to find that they had a charging port because imagine being on the bus for 24 hours with no place to charge your phone oh my goodness so the bus took off at 11 15 a.m and we arrived in cape town the next day at 10 a.m and on the way to cape town guys oh my goodness the landscape was beautiful and one other thing that i really really love about south africa is that they've got really really good roads like for the entire 24 hours we were driving we did not pass even one speed bump no potholes and i'm not even exaggerating like the national roads are really really good so that's one thing i really appreciated because uh, where i come from is honestly not the case but i was inspired that it is possible in africa we just need people doing the right thing one of the first towns we drove past is called lady smith and this is the hometown of the grammy award winning music group called lady smith black mambazo so here we just came to pick a few more passengers to continue our trip in Cameroon, where I come from, when you're driving across the country, you see more of your forests and um, tropical terrains. But in South Africa, it is more of a savanna terrain. Majority of the country is a savanna, so loads of grasslands. I was so relieved when we stopped for some food because I was extremely hungry. So usually the buses don't offer food but they stop every 3 or 4 hours if people want to use the bathroom or if people want to buy something to eat. So I had some KFC because I didn't really have breakfast and I wanted to have something that could at least hold my stomach for some time. So I ordered some chicken. To further amplify my unhealthy choices, I also got a bar of chocolate, but like there's this specific one that I like, just the plain normal bar of chocolate. But this particular wrapper, it had this strange looking doll bear which looked evil and I was like, why is it looking kind of evil? But anyway, it is the chocolate I wanted, so I bought it. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I was able to get off the bus. Like the hunger, guys, the hunger is real. So I got some stuff to eat and I'm just gonna be eating on the bus because we actually don't have a lot of time. The bus driver only gave us 15 minutes and then he's going to take off. So I just had enough time to buy the stuff and we're gonna start going in a few minutes. So this is what I ordered from KFC. I got the dunked wings, chips and a drink but i want you to notice how much tax i had to pay i had to pay 11 rand tax i don't know if this is going to sound embarrassing but it was my first time tasting dunk wings and guys there is no going back so the next town we drove past after a period of time is a town called bethlehem i know like bethlehem in the bible but this one is inspired by the wheat that is grown in the area and i don't know they just adopted the name bethlehem so yes we stopped again to pick some passengers before we continued our trip so Bethlehem is a town in the Eastern Free State region and what actually struck me about this city is that they have a lot of interesting looking buildings. 
and then i started to see a variation in the landscapes we passed places where it was just grass and mountains places where we had lots of green grass other places where it did not have as much fresh grass there was so much variation in the roads a lot of mountains as well like the mountains look washed guys like oh my god everywhere was so clean see how clean it looks it looks like the lawn was even mowed <laughs> What's your favorite travel snack when you are on a long journey? For me, honestly, I only recently started liking chocolate. I was never really a chocolate person, but I think, you know, it's 2020, we have changed, okay? A lot has changed about a lot of us. So now, all of a sudden, I like eating chocolate. So yeah, I just had to get my energy levels up because I think we were about eight hours into the trip and I was feeling kind of tired. We passed another town called Fixburg and this was the last town where I could keep my eyes open. Honestly, at this stage, I was really, really tired, so I fell asleep. And when I opened my eyes, we were in Bloemfontein. And here already, it was at night, so I couldn't really feel much. Um, but yeah, we were basically in Bloemfontein, another town as well. Woo! And then we made a stop, a bathroom stop again. And yes, guys, I was so exhausted, honestly. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys what the inside of the places looked like where we stopped for breaks. After Blue Fontaine, I went to sleep again because, like, places were dark and I think we were just driving past grasslands. But when I opened my eyes in the morning, we were in the desert. I was like, oh my gosh, are we still in South Africa? This just goes to show you the diversity. So now, no more grasslands, just dry lands, but still beautiful. So the name of this town is langsburg and this town seems so interesting to me because it has a lot of history morning guys so we just made a quick stop at a town called langsbury 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 i'm not even quite sure how to pronounce it but yes and we're actually just getting back into our bus to get going yes guys i'm so tired but we are almost there so i don't know if you noticed but there's a common trend here the bus would normally stop at petrol stations to fill up and then we use um you know the facilities surrounding so Langsburg is a town in the western cape province so same province as cape town we were actually not very far away now but it has a history of flooding in 1981 the city was partially destroyed by floods so there is a lot going on here and it's very interesting to see the city being built up again so after all of that we had to drive past a lot of more dry looking lands well compared to the savannah that i previously saw the day before and it was interesting to me because i've never been this side of south africa before just look at the vastness of the land and the beauty of the mountains we made our final petrol stop if i can remember correctly yes this was definitely the last petrol stop we made before entering cape town and can i just tell you how grateful i was that i could charge my phone the entire way through the trip The moment I began to see the wine lands, I knew Cape Town was just around the corner. Like, can we just first of all look at those skies? Can we then appreciate the wine farms? Like, guys, the excitement inside of me. I looked tired, but I was bubbling up because we were almost there. This mountain meeting with the clouds was honestly, I think, my most beautiful sighting this entire trip. Videos and pictures don't do this view justice. Like, it literally felt like I was in a, another universe. So, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I just couldn't get enough of it. So, after that, we finally arrived. Cape Town! Can we peep Table Mountain over there? Like, Woo, after such a long trip it was so nice to finally touch down so yes we were making our way to the bus station they make two stops in cape town so i was going to be dropped off at the bus station and this was my first time at the cape town bus station which looked a little similar to the one in johannesburg i'm literally looking so tired i even look stressed oh my gosh i'm just waiting for the airbnb to be ready because i arrived a little bit earlier than the check-in time hey Oma. yes guys Oma is back on the channel for the duration of this trip <laughs> this arrival though fam
Hey guys, so I'm finally in an Airbnb and I got a chance to clean up myself. I'm finally looking like some form of a human being. We can officially begin our holiday. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this very first video. South Africa is so beautiful, guys. Like, South Africa is beautiful. The landscapes, the mountains. I really, really enjoyed my 24 hour trip. I will definitely do it again. But for myself and Elma, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe, like this video, turn on the post notifications, and keep up with our Cape Town trip. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. And yeah, my hand is just messy here because that's makeup, guys. It's makeup. Bye.